Hello everybody, it's your favorite Mario here, and your favorite guy Spoo here, and we also got our roll call here. Alright, let's do a roll call. Terry, here. Principal Skinner, here. Senior Senior Senior, right here. And present. Carl Weezer. Quasso. Yeah, he's here. And here. Helen, here. And Justin himself, right here. Alright, hello. Welcome to another the second episode of the third season of our DVD openings. We have our next episode of season three is here. And since our first episode of season three did very well, more episodes are officially coming. So our next DVD opening we're doing today is a DVD from Is it 2000? It is 2001. Okay. I thought it was from 2000 for a second, but it's actually from 2001. We're doing a DVD opening to Dinosaur. Yes, this is the, the the Disney movie starring D.B. Sweeney and Hayden Panettiere. This movie is very underrated. It's probably one of Disney's lesser-known movies. Yep, and of course, it is THX certified. My boo, just a curious question. <clears throat> how many THX certified DDs do you have? A lot, Terry. You don't want you don't want to know how many we have. We probably have like thirty of them. Dang, that's a lot. It is. Well, I hope we're here for. I hope you guys are here for an unforgettable luncheon of a DVD opening. Yes, you heard Principal Scanner, folks. Anyways, let's shade the side right here. You can see Eldar and uh, Zini. I think that's what her name is. Yes, it is Zini. <laughs> In the back. Visually Astonishing says Entertainment Weekly. And we also know a user named Dynamic Crab TV. He also has uh, this CD as well, but his is a reprint from 2004. And it's rated PG. Wait a minute. Martin Boo, doesn't you, Disney make their movies rated G? Um, Back then they did, Senior Senior Senior, but um, ever since starting in um 2008 with Bolt... And sometimes and present, they're now making their movies three to PG. I mean, why? Ever since the first Disney movie ever made Snow White, Disney has made their movies three to G. Um, not all of them, Senior, Senior, Senior. And if you think, if you, and if you're thinking this was the first Disney movie to be a PG, it's not. It's not. What other Disney movies were rated PG? Well, the first anime Disney movie to get a PG rating was The Black Cauldron. Oh. In fact, that film was supposed to get a PG-13 rating, but um, they didn't want to make it into, like, an uh, adult movie, so they made it PG. Okay. That's interesting. Yep, T-Check certified, and it's 82 minutes. Here's a look at the colorful artwork disc and the scene index right here. Alright. Call, call, can you take the disc out? Okay. And I'm gonna just go ahead and put it in the player. There we go. Now enjoy the DD opening to dinosaur guys. Yes, here's the DD opening to Dinosaur. In that noise again. Just ignore that. Yep, like uh, every other Disney DVD, it always opens up with the FBI warning screen. This DVD is for private home viewing only. Yep, we already know. And we have the Walt Disney Home Video logo. The first DVD thing we're doing to feature this logo. Okay, if memory serves correctly, I think there might be a preview for the Emperor's New Groove. I think. But first off, we have Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, which this would be the first ever Platinum Edition DVD to be ever, to be ever re released. There's Jafar. Before there was Jafar. And before there was Scar. And before there was Ursula. 
become an evil queen. And the evil queen's appearance in this film was also an inspiration for the villain for Enchanted's appearance, Queen Arissa. That was her name. Yep, and like we said earlier, this was the first ever Disney movie released. The movie came out in 1937, a way long time ago. 84 years ago. Oh, next up we have Disney's California Adventure. Something really big is happening next door to Disneyland. I've actually never been to Disneyland, California. I've been to Disneyland um, in Florida, but not California. But I know the ocean. I know Oshitaki Mushrooms has been there before. If you don't know who Oshitaki Mushrooms are, it's basically the family that consists of Leland, Rihanna, London, Lee, and Kel. Yeah, most of the Disney characters are some. Their original voice actors reprised their role, including Tim Allen as Buzz and Bill Farmer as Goofy. You mean Hot Pop, Justin? It's the same thing, man. All right, what's Disney's next movie coming soon to theaters? Oh, Atlantis, The Lost Empire. Justin, did you by any chance get this movie for your birthday? Yes, back in 2016. I got it for my 13th birthday. Wow, you were 13 in 2016, just like me. Yes, Anne. Cool variation of the Disney logo right there, too. Single day and night of misfortune, the island of Atlantis disappeared into the depths of the sea. Plato, 360 BC. And the music for the film was done by James Ewan Howard, who most recently did the music for... Disney's 59th movie, Raya and the Last Dragon, which I fear still has to get that movie one day. Yes. Lantis disappeared into the sea. And that is when our hero comes in. Milo James Statch, voiced by Michael J. Fox. Oh, um, he, Justin, he was also the voice of... What was his name again? I think it was Chance. Yeah, Chance from Homeward Bound. Yeah, Chance the Bulldog from the How Homeward Bound 1 and 2. Yeah. And Whitmore right here. I, that guy there, Whitmore, he was originally supposed to be voiced by Lloyd Bridges, the dad to uh, Jeff Bridges and Hugh Bridges, but he died before filming could begin and was replaced by the late John Mahoney. And this was also notable for being the final movie for Jim Varney, the voice of Cookie in this movie. He died after voice recording all his lines for the movie and thus was dedicated to his memory. Lonnie died back in February 2000 at the age of 50 from lung cancer. Yeah, but everyone knows him today as Ernest P. Worrell. Yes, Paul. And that's the villain voiced by James Garner, the late James Garner. And, and, and they, hey, rest in peace, too. And Keita right there was voiced by voice actress extraordinaire, Pre Summer. Number five, Cleo, Reina, etc. Whoa. Coming to theaters June 2001. This movie's going to be 21 this year. Lady and the Tramp 2, Scamp's Adventure. Earlier in Season 2, we did the deal into the first movie, but we don't have the second movie yet. We might try to get it soon. Pretty decent sequel, in my opinion, the looks. Scamp's Adventure. 
And Jeff Bennett voices Champ. And Jody Benson voices Lady. And even the legendary Nikki Rooney was also in this movie. Lisa Milano from. Lisa Milano from. And Scott Wolf. Oh. Yeah, well, some Lana from Commando uh, when all sports nigga. That's why I was thinking of what other movie she was in. Original song for the movie. Old friends. New friends. All new adventure. Oh uh, yeah, old friends like Clay who just commented in. And what episodes of My Woody Boo Wally are coming to the My Woody Boo Wally channel, so. Yeah. February 27, 2001. And we have 102 Dalmatian. This is a sequel to 101 Dalmatians, the live action version. Well, this is the its sequel, 102. Glenn Close and uh, another cast member from the first movie reprised their role for the second movie. And there's Cruella de Vil. Cruella de Vil has been cured. I have so much to atone for. Unfortunately, temptation has a brand new face. Yep. Oh. She goes on another villainous rampage. Yes, yeah, what you want, What you said. We might try to get that movie soon. With if we also get the first movie as well. And there you have it for the DVD opening of Dinosaur. This is our main menu right here. Yep, dinosaur. So before we, before we hit play the movie, let's just take a look through this footprint to see its nice scenes from the movie. Really nice. And if we hit play movie. We go through the footprint. And once we enter the footprint. This logo awaits. And it's in full screen. And, and unlike other TJX CDs which they digitally mastered, this one says Lucasfilm Limited. And I always see why, because George Lucas, who, who helped create the Star Wars movies, actually found a THX for superior sound and picture quality. Hello, Lamb Rock Strikes Back. As a bonus, we'll, 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 we'll go ahead and watch the opening scene before we end the DVD opening.
All right, there we go. I was about to say, that's it. We're just looking at a blank screen. But yes, millions of years ago, dinosaurs roamed the earth. And Walt Disney Pictures presents, in its original, and how it always says on the DVDs of each movie, which I think that's nice. Dinosaur. So yeah, these are just um, eggs. Coming Wednesday or Thursday. All right, we will stay tuned for that. Let Rush takes back, and we already just put our next question in into the comments. So there's your mama dinosaur right there. And in it and, and in one of those eggs is the protagonist, Alador. Yeah, this mother doesn't want the eggs to be like killed or anything. That 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 kind of reminds me of finding Nemo because um Coral, Marlin's wife and Nemo's mother, died after trying to protect their baby from that evil fish. I think it was a swordfish, I think. I forgot. It's been a while since I haven't saw that movie. I smell something bad happening. Yep. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Well, good thing that's not Rex from Toy Story, because he's a friendly dinosaur. Not to mention that evil T-Rex from my game, Super Mario Odyssey, Helen. Oh, yeah, that dinosaur. I forgot about him. And most of the dinosaurs rolling in the song was actually done by voice actor Frank Walker. Oof. There goes the eggs, but only one egg remains. Yeah, I'm sensing some Finding Nemo vibes too, Terry. Yeah, anyways, I think we're going to stop right there because we don't want to get copyrighted by Disney. Yeah, good point, Boo. But anyways, this has been the DVD opening to Dinosaur. Very underrated Disney movie, in our opinion. Yeah. All right, so there you have it. We'll be doing another episode in a few minutes. So it's what me and Boo said at the end of every video stream. Thank you so much for watching our stream. Yep. We hope, we hope you enjoyed. We'll see you all in our next episode in a few minutes.